Hello, I'm Nima Abuwate and I write about money and how we use it. Today we're talking to Ian and Inga about the importance of protecting the financial well-being of their loved ones for years to come. Come on in. I see you've already got your coffee. What's the first thing you look forward to in your day? Go out for a run. And how did you get into fitness? I've been active for most of my life, but I started to enjoy fitness when I met my husband. Oh, hi there, Ian. Tell us, what brought you guys to the UAE? We were seeking something exciting. You mentioned your daughter, Kaya. What kind of future do you wish for Kaya? Say, for her to be happy, healthy. What about financial security? Is that a concern for you? We do think about it. I think I know someone you should be talking to about this. Ian, this is Nima Abu Wada. So, Ian, the younger you start, the less you actually pay per month or per year. If you leave it till your 40s or 50s, your premiums really shoot up. It hasn't come across to me like that before. What are you doing to make sure that you don't get into financial trouble? Are you protected in any way? Things like critical illness or protecting your income. Not on the basis of lost income. So how much do you think it'll cost to protect your family's financial future? It's not expensive. You can protect your family's financial future for as little as seven dirhams a day. That's less than the price of a coffee. Life insurance can help. It can also include critical illness. Yeah, that sounds more and more appealing now that you say it. 